taken out so many people in the past, extremely important people, uh, without blinking an eye, they just do it. And with what Trump has been doing all around the planet, in regards to shutting down human trafficking, shutting down the pedophiles, and how huge that is going to be when that finally comes out. It's going to be shocking people to the core when they find out exactly who and what is involved with that and how large a scale that that horrific, uh, horrific thing that has uh, been plaguing the planet for a long, long time is finally coming to an end thanks to Donald Trump. Why haven't they taken him out? I'll tell you why. Because they can't. They can't take him out. There is a, a video that was done on Project Camelot back in January, I believe, of 2011, where Carrie Cassidy was interviewing a man by the name of Bill Wood. And that interview is about two and a half hours long, I think. The last 24 minutes of that video and you can, you can research this and find this on YouTube. Uh, this interview with Bill Wood on Project Camelot, and you can find the last 24 minutes, usually, that clip of the last 24 minutes. Now he was a, he, he's a whistleblower, and um, he was talking about his involvement, I, I think, in the secret space program, and, other things that he was involved involved in. 
and uh, this was back in January 2011 like I said and what he spoke about in the last 24 minutes was a project out there called Project Looking Glass and I'm, I'm really surprised that there aren't more people who are awake. I mean truly awake people that know what's going on and, and, and the amazing things that Trump is, is doing and, and, uh, and can see the attacks against him and uh, all of it. I, I'm, I'm surprised that there aren't more of these people who know the truth and are awake aren't talking more about this and, and aren't even asking the question why haven't they taken out Donald Trump? Why haven't they? Because they can't. And Project Looking Glass, without going into details because I, I can't explain it like Bill Wood does you have to do your own research and it's simple to do. I'm not going to provide any links at the bottom of this video. Just bloody well look it up. Project Camelot, Bill Wood. It's not difficult to do. Punch it in, YouTube, look it up. But what he talks about is, uh, in a nutshell, is basically uh, the ETs the extraterrestrials, and again, most people who are awake kind of know and accept as total truth that Eisenhower was contacted by them and met with ETs back in 54, I believe. Looking glass is ET technology that basically allows you to look into the future, to kind of suggest future uh, actions that you might take and to be able to see the results of those actions. And uh, Mr. Wood was involved in that. He was brought in apparently to try to change something that they saw was happening or was going to happen or is happening this is back in 2011 don't forget where uh, when they looked into the future with this device this uh, this device called looking glass what they call it all the timelines no matter what actions you took all the timelines were starting to converge into one one timeline. It didn't matter what you did. It didn't matter what action you took. The end result was still converging on this one end result. And he was saying that it was coming down to two timelines. This is back in 2011. And he was brought in to see if he could fix it or, or change it or, or, or alter it somehow to do what the powers that be or were at the time wanted to have done to fulfill their agenda of New World Order, Agenda 21, whatever. And uh, the result was he couldn't. He saw that the timelines were coming down to two possibilities. One possibility, the second possibility, he said, and he actually said the second possibility is that we're headed for Armageddon. The first possibility, the number one possibility, he said it looks like we're heading, and he quoted this, this is what he said, that we're heading for an awakening where humanity basically wakes up.
And that is exactly what playing out right now. Now I am certain the only answer to the question of why haven't they taken up Donald Trump? How, how is he able to go and do these rallies and, and be out there in public? Uh, especially again now when you look at the technology that is out there now in 2020 that they obviously have that we don't know about, the public even, compared to even 1963, right, when they took out Kennedy. Why haven't they taken him out? They haven't taken him out because Trump, Q, the Alliance, the White Hats, the good guys, whatever you want to call it, have access to looking glass. And they can see scenarios that they want to take, actions that they want to take, and they can see the result. And the best way is still converging into one thing, the one end result. But they can, they can still see, okay, what's the best action to take here? to get to this goal. And that's how they can protect the president. It's a foregone conclusion. It's over. The Satanists, the cabal knows that it's over as well, but they've got to play the game. They have to play the game. And that's what the Democrats are doing. That's what that's what all the evilness on the planet is doing right now. They're just playing the game. They know it's over. They have access to looking glass as well, too. Apparently, according to Bill Wood, there were, I think, about 50 of them around the world, he said. He also said that the bad guys, basically, have stopped using it because, like, for example, mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the fairest of them all? Well, if you get, keep getting told it's Snow White, regardless of what you do, why the hell would you keep using it? So they stop using it. They're just playing the game. But Trump and the Alliance are using it to keep him safe and to uh, bring about the end result that's coming as quickly as possible. I highly recommend, if, you, if you're not aware of Looking Glass, check out Bill Wood, Project Camelot, Bill Wood, and Looking Glass. Because it is the only thing that makes sense as to why haven't they taken out Donald Trump. And believe me, when you start checking this out and you start putting the pieces together and, and understanding, keep an open mind and understanding the technology that's been hidden from us. This technology is out there. It's the only explanation. You can't take them out. It's over. And with that, have the best day you can. See ya.